batted it right out of midair. That's ice. That's ice. Don't touch it, Big Mac. Oh my god. Oh my god. That almost went in. Robert asks, what's going to happen with Ty Ronning when he starts to decline? Are you going to keep him on the team as a 38-year-old, 68 overall? Well, Robert, there is only one answer to this question, and it is your goddamn right. He made the team out of camp, and he is not going anywhere anytime soon. What's going on guys and welcome back to your Seattle Storm Bears 14-2-2 franchise mode and we got Agency leading the way but that's nothing new. I got some comments to go over but first I want to thank you. I want to thank you for the overwhelming support since this is episode like middle of 50, I think we're 56 now, I could be completely wrong but 50 some odd episodes and the support is still crazy. I put in the last video, I said you know what do you guys want to do, do you want me to end it here? Here? Do you want me to keep going? And like 95% of you guys want me to continue the series. Keep it going. Do exactly what we're doing. Don't change up a thing. So you know what? I'm going to listen to you guys. You guys are the main reason why this series has been so successful. I'm having an absolute blast with it. And I'm actually, I'm not surprised, but I'm just, I'm very happy that everyone's having such a good time with it because I've put a lot of work into this series and it's nice to see that my work is paying off. And it's nice to see that you guys really enjoy it as well. Now let's go over some comments. Rhino GFX says uh, 1425 timestamp in the last video. Apparently I said no one crazy, but apparently, apparently Edmonton drafted a high elite goalie that I didn't even see. I said, oh, there's nothing crazy here, but oh, just kidding. They have a high elite goaltender. So let's see here. They drafted a high elite and there he is. Yeah, wow. Okay, so yeah, 22nd overall, Rob Falloon. Falloon, distant cousin of Pat Falloon. Um, I hope some of you guys are old enough to get that reference, but I'm not even old enough to get that reference. I wasn't even born when he was drafted, but uh, Rob Falloon. He's okay. high elite, 18 years old. Now, they want to get rid of him. I'm not really sure why, but anyways, there's that. Now, the pick after him was actually a medium elite goalie at 23rd overall that went to Dallas. So, back-to-back -back picks, high elite and medium elite. That high elite goalie could really grow really fast fast, but Franzen was the other one. Uh, he is 18 years old, medium elite, 53 overall, so you got to think the high elite is just a much better pick overall, but still a very, very successful draft there for Edmonton and the Dallas Stars. Now, speaking of our draft, uh, Left Hand Shred 2, he says, just want to say that Lapinen, which I still don't know how to pronounce his name, but he was the pick we got, which was the medium elite, 75 overall. I have to sign this guy. He's going to play in the AHL this year. Uh, he says translate to finish to sort of flap so <laughs> there's that uh villy sort of flap that's what we're gonna call him from here on out there's no more lapping in and in it is villy sort of flap that is arguably the best name in the entire nhl and i'm sticking to it so let's go ahead and give that guy a contract actually i didn't realize his overall was so high he can definitely help out the ahl team so let's go ahead and sign the rookie and then i got a couple more comments to go over my suggestion right now Pause the video, go get a snack, because we're probably going to do the entire year simulation right now. All right, AHL team is looking good. We got a few decent prospects here. A lot of early 20-year-old guys that could very well make the jump up to the NHL. Our defense is looking really good. Uh, we got Sorta Flap here, now signed, playing in Tucson. And in the cage, we got uh, Clarence Patrick, who was a second-round pick. I think we got him in free agency. And this guy, I believe, we also got in free free agency. So there you go. Now, as we continue with the simulation here, we got a comment from the assistant GM mode legend himself, Brandon Berenfeld. Now he says, here's my stance on the series. I don't see a reason to stop anytime soon. You're having fun with it and everyone else seems to be having fun as well. I'd say either do the full 25 years or go till NHL 19 comes out, whichever comes first. That being said, I would make the videos longer just so you can finish the series before NHL 19 comes out. Don't rush things and don't do a crap shoot either. With C how many Stanley Cups you could win before this is all over and right after that can't think of a name very original name he says go for 10 rings one ring for each finger all right I like that a lot so I mean that's pretty much 99% of the comments everyone was saying dude just continue it I'm having fun you're having fun what's the problem there is no problem where we're gonna continue on with the series here so we're 17 4 and 2 18 4 and 2 sorry 18 5 and 2 now 
now. Um, yeah, that's all good. So, I mean, realistically, we could very well have another Stanley Cup uh, run here because our team is still sick. It's still as good as we won our fourth cup, you know, where we're still a very, very good team. So up against Clayton Keller and the original in and in in Minnesota, first period, it's a 0-0 game, but we're out shooting them like crazy. Period number two, there you go, 3 nothing. Oh, man, three of my favorite gentlemen, Ty freaking running, Agency, and Nathan McKinnon. Um, so there you go, that's awesome. And they score on the most French goalie of all time, Asimil Dumont. We also traded him to the Minnesota Wild in exchange for a few picks, and one of those picks, I believe, was sort of flap. Uh, that's kind of cool. All right, going into the third, and we make it a 5 nothing game. Agency and Nathan McKinnon once again doing what they do best, scoring goals, and Big Mac shuts the door. All right, so we got a couple more games here. I like to slow us in this game against the New York Rangers because they let Ty Ronning walk in year number one. Now, I'd love for him to score against the Rangers. I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, who knows? Maybe. Maybe. Let's go ahead and check that out here. So, Daughtry and a fifth for a third, a fifth, and a prospect, I think I saw. Uh, a third, a fourth, and Wade Ronnie. Okay, who's this Jack Daughtry, I think? Julian. He's a grinder, fourth liner. I don't need him. You can have him in Anaheim. Plus, I don't want to give up picks. And Ty Ronning's cousin, he would not be too happy about that. Uh, so we're three and two in our last five. Let's see if we can get back in the winning train here against the Rangers. We're at home. Ty Ronning's got something to prove. Let's go. Period number one. And it's a one nothing game. Bushnevik, he's still playing. Wow. Period number two. Alright, we get two. Nathan McKinnon and Agency. Surprise! Going into the the third it's a 3-3 game McKinnon gets another one Sloan and Anderson you know what that means we're going into overtime where Ty Ronning is going to go all in alone break away and just go bar down against his old team we got agency and Nathan McKinnon on the ice they've been scoring a lot of goals lately so let's see if one of those guys can end it these guys are money on the poke checks big save big Mac look at those pads oh man that guy's beautiful Nathan McKinnon, look at the speed. Oh, what a save. 36 years old and the guy can fly. Oh no, where's the D? What are you doing? Three on one, doesn't matter. Stops up. He finds Carney. Carney, seven seconds left. You got a guy in front. Oh, that was... That was close. Keep it in. Get it on net. We're going to a shootout. Now, I don't know if I put Ty Ronning in the shootout or not. I think I had it last year, but I went best line, so I don't think he's in there, unfortunately. Here comes Craig, and Big Mac says, no, not today. Nathan McKinnon coming through. He's a Stanley Cup champion, and he misses the net. Got Anthony D'Angelo coming through. Ooh, try a little uh, short side tuck there, but no, no, no. Big Mac sprawls out, got him off his game and he missed the net oh he's the captain tony d'angelo or anthony d'angelo here's the man the myth the legend agency little nasty move oh man no one has scored yet and this is not rick nash even though his number is 61 we got lias anderson come on come on big save big mac there you go so if we score here we win the game. Yeah, it's Chris Deck. All right, buddy, here you go. You can win the game here with a little... Oh, my God, that was nasty. He decided to go glove, and that worked out for him. Four to three. It's a victory. Just trying to find a game against Vegas here, but we don't play them until February, right before the trade deadline. So let's go... Actually, we'll go probably one more month, and then we'll have a look at the stats, all that good stuff. But we've been losing a few games here. Uh, Bastion for a second and a seventh. Now, we don't really need to make any roster moves, but let's see what we got here. Another trade from Nashville. 33 years old, fourth liner. I just, I simply don't need you, especially for a second round pick. No, thank you. Uh, again, no. Literally the next day. We've made quite a few trades with Nashville. I wonder what team we've made the most trades with. Maybe Nashville, maybe... Maybe the, um, made a few trades with Ottawa, we made a few trades, Jared McCann, no way, made a few trades with, uh, with the Islanders too, um, 
I think it's probably Nashville. I'm thinking Tolvanen. No, we got Tolvanen in, in free agency, but then we traded him back to Nashville. I don't know. Uh, we've made quite a few trades, but I think the best trade, and I don't know if you guys agree with me or not, but it's probably been the Ryan Paling trade. I'm pretty sure we traded pretty much scraps to get that guy. Um, so, I mean, and then he turned into a 50-goal guy, and he's a four-time or a three-time Stanley Cup champion. Pretty sure it's four, but the guy's just a legend. Now, look at agency. Oh, my God, 79 points in just under 50 games. Now, I want to show you guys something kind of cool. Whenever I edit these videos, I always play GM mode on the side. Like, I always have, like, an alternate GM mode open. And with that, I always play with Agent C because a franchise mode without Agent C, are you really playing franchise mode? I threw him on the Oilers with McDavid and this franchise guy that I drafted, and look at the numbers he's putting up. Strictly simulation, 154 points, 89 goals. I just wanted to share that. That's kind of the team that I uh, put together there in Edmonton. I'm just quickly like simming through it. I'm not thinking too much into it, but uh, yeah, pretty crazy to see those kind of point numbers. Now he could have like a 70 goal year here. Let's see how many goals he gets in the next two games. Who is online? Why do I have my notifications on? 80 points in 50 games. So he's going to have well over 100 points. I don't need to even look at these trades right now. Up against the Stars, and that's another point. So 81 in 51. And we are tops of our division and tops of the NHL by a long shot. The next closest team is Buffalo with 65. So 81 points in 51 games. I'm sure Nathan McKinnon is right behind him. Let's have a look here. So he's got 81. Oh, wow, actually. He's got such a lead on everyone else. Oh, my God. Uh, Quinn Hughes with 32. You love to see it. That's awesome. Ryan Paling, only 21 points. Okay. Yeah, I think he's really going down here. Uh, Boyce, I mean, we could move Boyce up to the second line. Uh, even Kachuk, I mean, is Ryan Paling a third liner? Is that just it? I don't know. Quinn Hughes leading defensively. That's awesome. The Germinator, the best science partner a guy could ever ask for, Nick Beach. He's got 50 penalty minutes. He's a bit of a goon. Uh, Ryan Paling, only 21 points. That's concerning. Uh, Reginald, only 20 as well. Okay, I'm going to change up the second line for sure. Ty Ronning with 13 points. Unbelievable. All right, so let's check out the tendies here. Uh, 31 and 13. And James Vagetti, the Stanley Cup starter, is 5 and 1. Let's have a look at the entire entire NHL. I'm sure we are miles ahead of everyone else. Any crazy rookies out there? Uh, 42 points in 51 games. Uh, rookie tendies. What do we got here? Any crazy rookie goalies? I know we don't have any super good rookies this year, um, except for Boyce. Uh, Cowan. So there he is, Eugene Cowan. He could win the Calder uh, if he steps it up. So all skaters. I assume we're number one by a long shot. Yeah, so it's not even really close. 81. That's just incredible, man. He is so damn good. As as for goal scoring, Svengerg has a decent amount, but nowhere close to us. So let me go ahead and change out the lines a little bit. Let's see what I can do here. I don't know if I'm going to make a trade. I'm not sure if I need to trade for a legitimate second liner, but i got to figure something out here with the lines. I think Ryan Paling's probably going to have to go on the third line. I mean, even Brodziak, too. Only 20 points? Yeah, that second line really is not working. So we're going to go like this. We're going to probably keep that the way it is. Uh, Nick Beach Boyce. I mean, Yakola kind of works out perfectly on the fourth line, and he's putting up pretty decent numbers. So, no matter where this guy is, he always produces. I'm fine with this. Nick Beach, Ryan Paling, Boyce, Carney, Brods, yeah. Okay, let's just try to change it up a little bit here. I had Hughes right here, Stromberg, and Wall. I love it. Absolutely love it. And as for goalies, we are good to go. So, let's see if that helps a little bit. I'd like to see... I mean, Kachuk's not ideal for the second line, but I think Boyce is going to be the second liner that we need so I don't want to trade for a second liner um, we're gonna be patient here we're gonna play things out we're still winning games that's all good so let's go ahead I mean we can even put Carney down the middle he's got 80 face-offs what does Kachuk have 78 um, Kachuk's been playing the wing but you know you know what maybe we, we will go ahead and put Carney down the middle we'll see how this works out all right let's have a let's have a quick test here let's go here and see if our new lines can come up with a big old victory against the Rangers first period and we're down by three. Not ideal. Period number two. Okay, we come right back. Carney, Stromberg, and Brodziak. Okay, Nugent Hopkins going into the third. Can we climb back? And we do just that. Kale McCarr and Nathan McKinnon. There you go. Three goals in the second, and then we end up getting two in the third, and that is how it's done, baby. 
That's what I'm talking about. So we're one and zero. Oh, all right, we beat the Rangers. Can we beat the Islanders? No, we lose. We're one and two since our line change. Not great. Um, I did write down all of our stats as well, so I can kind of see. Maybe we'll do like a ten game stint here. Maybe we'll go up to the trade deadline or just past. Um, okay, let's see. This guy, 78 overall, 35 years old. I don't need him. No, thank you. Big old 4-1 win there against the Devils, and we're getting a ton of trade offers here. A lot of like grinders, which I really just don't need. Uh, back in the winning column, but I probably just jinxed it. There you go. There's a loss. And then another loss. Oh no, I jinxed it. I jinxed it. So how many games you got here? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10 will be the Vegas game. All right, let's go 10 games, and then I'll slow sim the game against Vegas because we have to. Now, another trade. Oh, my God. Nashville, I don't want this trade. No, stop. I keep getting the same offer from Nashville over and over and over. Um, Popovich, I think he's pretty damn good, actually. Popovich, let's see. Um, he's making 6 million bucks. What is he looking like? He's a, okay, only 81 overall. He's not that great. Uh, so this guy was one of the guys we drafted, 73 overall. I really just don't need these guys. I like the picks, but I'm not interested. No, thank you. The Vegas Golden Knights have a below 500 record. Come on, boys. We're at home. Not a Brady Kachuk jersey in sight. Let's go. First period, and it's a 0-0 game. Period number two. All right, they get one. Ashton going into the third. Oh, my God, we lose by one. Agent C and Hughes, but Tyson Jones. Jost gets the game-winning goal with two minutes left, and that's 10 games in. All right, it's 10 games, and let's see what our record was. I don't think it was that great. Um, Agency has just a measly 93 points. I don't think he's going to hit the 70 mark. He might hit 70, uh, but he's definitely not going to hit 80. No way. Uh, so let's see how our record was. We were 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. 4 and 6. Not super great. All right, so maybe the line changes aren't that good. Yeah, Brodziak really seems to be struggling. So does Carney. Oh, man, I don't know what the deal is. Only five points in his last ten. Brodziak, he had how many points? He had seven points in his last ten. So maybe it is better. Maybe we just hit a little bit of a slump. Let's just continue with the simulation here. I'm feeling pretty confident now. I'm not going to trade for a second liner because I really want Boyce to be able to jump up for next year. Now, if he doesn't end up growing, I obviously will have to source something out at the draft or free agency to get a legitimate second liner. But uh, we can wait till then we're in a good position we have enough wins we're definitely going to be a playoff team i'm just a little bit concerned we're not going to be able to score the goals we're scoring in the regular season but let's go here nashville once again with another grinder trade no thank you and we beat calgary at the home and home and i didn't make a single trade and that's okay because i didn't want to the only trade i was going to make was either for picks or something like that but i really don't need to we're set we're good to go i am happy all right, so let's go ahead, see what trades happened. I don't even think we're going to recognize anyone. We could, but I highly doubt it. So no one here. I don't recognize anyone. No, no, no. Um, don't recognize anyone. Oh, that's actually a big trade. Vegas got Vic Hutchins, which is the guy from the, the Anaheim Ducks. I think he's like 90 overall. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't recognize anyone. Josh Norris, I do recognize him. So they got a first, a prospect, and another prospect for him, and Marcus Pedersen, which Marcus Pedersen was a, uh, a roster player for the Canucks. So it looks like Anaheim made quite a few deals on deadline day. We stayed quiet because I know we have the team to get the job done. It's all good. So I'm going to guess right now. I'm going to write it down in my notes. Let me go ahead and get the notepad up here. I'm going to guess Agent C is going to finish with 61 goals and, and 118 points. All right, that's what I think. That's what I think. We have 19 games left in the regular season. So let's see. 61 goals, 118 points. Can he do it? Uh, of course, we're going to slow sim the game again. Oh, no, I want to slow sim the game against Detroit. Damn, I forgot to do that. My bad. I'm definitely going to slow sim it against the Knights, though, of course. We have a game on the 18th and the 1st against the Knights. So we got a lot of action against Vegas, which I love. A couple wins. Here we go. Let's continue with the wins. There you go. That's four in a row. And of course, as I say that, we lose against the Canucks. Now we lost against Canucks. I do not want to lose against the Golden Knights. Now we lost against them a little under a month ago. Let's go ahead and get our revenge here. Going for our 49th win of this year, period, numero uno. And we're down by one, Lundmark. I don't know what it is with freaking Vegas.
Pairing number two. Okay, there you go. Ty freaking running, my dude. That's what I'm talking about. Period number three. We're going into overtime. This. Big save, Big Mac. Who's running the goalie? Take that guy out. Oh, my God. I would have absolutely destroyed that guy. Don't even come close. Get out of the crease. Don't even look at Big Mac. Don't even look at him. Zakhanov is on the ice against his old buddy, Agency. Batted it right out of midair. That's ice. That's ice. Don't touch it, Big Mac. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That almost went in. Oh, my God. That was the weirdest thing ever. Kale McCarr, the defenseman on a breakaway. What the hell was that? Here comes Kristak, and he scores. There you go. Kale McCarr made up for his breakaway attempt, I guess you could call that. There you go. Big W. Here's our mascot, just in case you were wondering. What's his name? Do we have a name for him? Can we get this man a name, aside from just mascot? Uh, yeah, there he is, just in case you're wondering. And here is the Kristek goal. Just beautiful. Maybe got a little bit of a screen there, and that is just gorgeous. I love winning against the Knights. Absolutely love it. Uh, we're going to slow in the game against the Knights once again, and then we'll see how many goals Agency has. I'm still sticking with 61. A 10-6 to game? Okay, hold on here. Hold on. Hold the phone. We're going to see how many uh, goals he has right here really quickly. He's got 60 and 118, so uh, he's already going to break my uh, already gonna break my prediction, but I want to see how many points we had there. That was ridiculous. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, 10 to 6. What a wild game. Great performance from Cedric Corey tonight, notching six points. Uh, stat night, Nathan McKinnon had four. Uh, Agency had a hat trick. So did Trevor Kachuk. That's beautiful. I bet Brady Kachuk doesn't score hat tricks. So 60 goals, 118 points. If this was game 82, I would look pretty damn smart. But Agency, he did it again. He uh, went ahead and made me look stupid. 10 to 6 though. Damn, we are putting up some numbers. Can we hit 60 wins? No, we're not going to be able to. We only have three games left. So the best we're going to do is 56. All right, up against the Knights once again. Let's go ahead and let's just score four or five tonight, Cedric. Come on, buddy. Let's get on the score sheet let's get you back into the 70 club first period okay 3-1 not great Zakhanov and the trader and Lampkin Quinn Hughes scores for us three goals on seven shots come on Big Mac we know oh, sorry it's James Vagetti all right we started Vagetti okay we can give him a little bit of leeway but we got to give him something to work with here in the second we tie it up Ryan Paling and Reginald going into the third and we get two more McKinnon and Brodziak another W the boys were like okay Vagetti don't worry about it you won us a Stanley Cup we'll go ahead and score a couple of goals for you there you go what a bunch of nice guys okay we got the Ducks and the Canucks so the Ducks suck, but the Canucks have a really good record. You could probably see us go up against the Canucks one more time. 61 goals, 123 points. Let's see how many points he's going to get in his next two games here. So uh, none in that game. All right, let's see what he can do against the Canucks. He's uh, put up some numbers against Vancouver in the past. 123 points. Make that 124. We lost 5-1, but we ended up, uh, he ended up getting the only goal of the game. 62 and 62. That's beautiful. Who do we got in the Stanley Cup playoffs? Give me a team I haven't had before. Come on. I want to see a new face here. I want to see a new team. No Vancouver. None of that. San Jose. Perfect. There you go. And have we ever played the Sharks? We might have played them once. Now, okay, this is going to be a good matchup because we have Scrivens. Scrivens, all right. We were going to trade for Scrivens quite a few times, but we never did. So let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and look at their roster in the next video. Let's have a look at ours here. 124 points for Agency. Wow. This man, this man, this guy loves to score goals, and he does it well. 124 points. That's his third highest point total a measly plus 59 11 power play goals still never in his career has ever had a shorthanded point or a shorthanded goal so weird 
Nathan McKinnon with 86. Now you got to think Nathan McKinnon could either retire after this year. Um, so we got to think about something like that as well. But I mean, that's the price you pay when you go ahead and get some sort of a rental. He's still a very good player, but he's 35 years old. So he's not going to last forever. Uh, that's where Reginald might have to come in and be a first line center. Chris Deck with another great year of 71 assists for 79 points. There you go. Uh, doesn't score a lot of goals, but man, he likes to pass the puck. Uh, Quinn Hughes there with 47. That's awesome. This guy, he's a Vancouver Canuck, if you didn't know. Uh, steadily, uh, is that his best point total ever? Oh no, he had 77 one year. I remember that. Damn, that was a long time ago. Uh, Trevor Kachuk, the better Kachuk with 40 points. Brodziak, really disappointing. Very, very disappointing. Maybe it was because he didn't have a proper second line center, but look at Yakola, fourth liner. The guy gets 37 points. Are you serious? Who is this guy? It's not quite a career high, but it's pretty damn close. Fourth liner? Okay. Uh, the Germinator, we got Ryan Palin with 33 points. You guys were right. He dropped, and he dropped in a big way. That's fine. It's all good. Nick Beach, what a guy. Carney's up to a 90. I really don't want to ruin this guy. He's listed as a first liner, so maybe if McKinnon retires this year, it won't be the worst thing. Uh, we got Boyce there, hoping he can come through and be our second line center next year. That would be really awesome. Awesome. That would be super, super cool. Uh, 9 and 19 this year. Uh, Kabanov with 25. Ernest Wall with 22. Kale McCarr with 19. Ty Ronning with 17. Stromberg with 7. All right, as for attendees, Big Mac did his job once again, 30 years old, 47 wins, 8-3 and three for James Vaghetti, the Stanley Cup champion, James Vaghetti. Looking at all the goalies here, we got a few familiar faces, such as Simon Dumont, who grew to a 91. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, what other goalies have we had here? We've had Cowan, who's 35-25, and 25, so he's probably going to win the Calder. That was a great trade for Colorado. A really, really good trade. Um, anyone else here? Nope. Uh, Whitman. Right. We drafted Whitman, and there he is. He's a, he's the starting goalie in Montreal. So we, we've helped out a few teams here, and AK-47 as well. Uh, rookie skaters. The Calder could go three ways here. I guess four ways. It could be Graham, Davidson, Rogers, or it could be Cowan. I'm going to go on a limb and say it's probably going to be Cowan, since he was the best rookie goalie. I believe so. Anyways, he's up to 86 overall. He had 35 wins. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to take home the Calder. Pretty sure. As for all skaters, I'm guaranteeing a, yeah, look at that, 124. Uh, Svengerg had 61 goals. So we kind of, not saying slacked, but uh, Svengerg came very, very close to beating us in goals. He came very close. I think Svengerg is probably the second best sniper in the entire league, but Agency is just a more well-rounded player. He gets the assists where Svengerg usually just gets goals and doesn't really put up a lot of a lot of apples. 51 is his career high. Uh, Ken Nicholson, who's that guy? Uh, first round, fifth overall. He is a medium elite sniper up to 90. Nathan McKinnon, Dylan Strom, how you doing, buddy? There you go, back up there in 85 points. That's awesome. I know he was struggling a little bit. It. Uh, but good for him. He's up there fifth in scoring. Now, you know who I don't see? You know who I just don't see up here? Uh, where is he? He's probably way down. Oh my god, he stinks. Look at this guy. 37 goals. That's it. I remember my first rodeo. What a guy. Uh, so we're plus 59, plus 46, plus 52. Ernest Wall, plus 35. That's awesome. Benson didn't do a whole lot of anything, but he had two assists and a plus 34. Not bad. Let's see who led the league in fights. Ronnie Doyle? Yeah, buddy. There you go. 35 fights. I miss this guy. I really do. Um, yeah. Not a point producer at all, but he does like to uh, does like to fight. I can tell you that much. He likes to drop the mitts. I do want to check out one thing, and that is Houston from the Colorado Avalanche. How did he turn out? Because he could have been the second line center that I really wanted him to be. Let's see what he turned out to be. Where is he? Houston, buddy, where'd you go? There he is. Oh my god, he didn't score a single goal? Oh my god, that is so weird. That is so weird. What the hell? Okay, that's 
really really strange so thank you for watching that's going to be the end of this video let me know your thoughts in the comments why did Houston not score any goals what do you want our nickname to be for the mascot and I will see you in round number one against a new team the San Jose Sharks thank God <laughs>